On the offensive side of the football, there is a lot of excitement surrounding the Minnesota Vikings. You know, and I got to be honest with you. You got Dalvin Cook coming back. That that offensive line looks to be figured out ish. Yeah, we'll see what happens. You know, you got Christian Derisaw at left tackle, Ezra Cleveland at left guard. Garrett Bradbury, maybe at center. I don't know. Uh, maybe Chris Reed goes in. Then maybe you got Jesse Davis and then Brian O'Neill. I don't know. However, they decide to finally get this offensive line together. But the weaponry in this offense is for real. Namely, Adam Thielen, who will remind the NFL of his dominance. Now, how could I say that about somebody that, quite frankly, uh, has had a pretty good couple of last seasons for the Vikings? I mean, we are talking about a guy, you know, you take a look at, you know, his stats, over six, almost 6,000 receiving yards. Uh, and really, if we're going to be honest here, he's only been starting since 2016. So what, about six seasons? So, you know, uh, we're looking at a guy, honestly, that and hasn't been, um, has missed time these last three seasons as well. So if we're looking at this and we are here to uh, take a serious look at what Adam Thielen has done, I think you need to look at these last two years specifically. Now, missed a game, uh, la I think it was 2020, I think it was against the Packers. But anyway, you know, a guy that was literally 75 yards away from having another 1,000-yard season. And quite frankly, I think he probably would have done it. And then he also missed three games uh, last year. Uh, with, uh, I believe, uh, I think it was an ankle injury. I had 726 receiving yards. But look at the touchdowns these last two years. We're really seeing him develop into that uh, that red zone threat that the Vikings honestly really needed. I don't think we've seen that. I mean, Kyle Rudolph did it for a year. Vasante Shank was an another one of those guys for uh, to bring up those old names. But off the top of my head, I really don't remember any other red zone, red zone threats to, to really mention. But overall, Adam Thielen is one of those guys that really is a, a difference maker in every sense of the word. Um, and, and listen, I get it. Again, He's got a lot of other uh, guys on his team. Dalvin Cook, again, one of the better running backs in the NFL. Uh, Justin Jefferson honestly should be the best or rated as the best wide receiver coming into the NFL this year, uh, or at least he should be. it should be revenge to our time uh, for Justin Jefferson. Because uh, didn't he get – I think he got snubbed for, what was it, second team All-Pro? I Just uh, second – or he got second team and Debo got first, whatever the point is. The point is the fact that Adam Thielen is still a massive uh, – threat for the Vikings offense and it's really I get it you know these last three seasons he has missed time you know some of that respect has gone out the window again I understand it but at the same time Adam Thielen still only 31 years old probably get another two to three more years left of being that dominant type of wide receiver um, for the Vikings and honestly he's one of the guys, those guys that does it all he can run the deep routes he can do uh, he's honestly probably one of the more polished route runners in the entire NFL he's still got a lot left in the tank and I think he really is going to remind a lot of people uh, of the fact that you know the Vikings do have really two number one wide receivers on that team. Now again, I I know there's the cliche. Oh, we'll always remember Adam Thielen. Will you? Will you really? Will you really? Because honestly, Adam Thielen is one of those guys that I think just goes so undernoticed. Uh, has only made the Pro Bowl a couple of times. Now again, I also understand the fact that uh, those were his only two 1,000 yard seasons in the NFL. But uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. So you know, Adam Thielen is one of those guys that honestly, every single time he steps on the field, he's a leader in the locker room. He's a leader on the field uh, and in the community. Uh, you know, for the Minnesota Vikings. So he is going to, in my mind, I really think he's going to come out with another thousand yard season, another double digit type touchdown season, and really going to solidify himself uh, as still being a top dog in the NFL, especially at wide receiver. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. We love every single one of you. Down in the description below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. You guys know what to do. Give us a like and a follow there. Also remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below, and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about Adam Thielen reminding the NFL of his dominance.